Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we continue studying subtraction with regrouping. And just to remind you, this is what we studied last time. When we have five tens and three ones, what to do if we need to regroup? We take a ten from the five tens and break it down into ten ones. So that leaves four tens, right? And instead of three ones, we now get 10 new ones or units, and so we get 13. 13 ones. And after that, we can subtract. And this is how it is written usually. I have 53, I need to subtract 16. And the reason I need to regroup is because from 3, I cannot take away 6. So the regrouping is written this way. I cross out the 5 and 3, and above them I write 4 and 13. 4 tens and 13 ones. And now I subtract in the ones, just like usual, 13 minus 6 is 7, and 4 minus 1 is 3. Let's practice it again, over here. 74 minus 38. And over here, 4 minus 8. I need more ones here to be able to subtract 8. So I regroup, which means I take one of the tens, and so I have six tens left, and that one ten is broken down, and it becomes ten ones, but there already are four, so I get 14. If I am just using it here, writing it here, then I cross out these and write here six and here 14. And now we subtract normally, 14 minus eight is six, 6 minus 3 is 3. The answer is 36. OK, let's go on. Over here, we're going to subtract. Over here, we are going to check our subtraction by adding. I don't know if you remember this, but any subtraction problem, once you get your answer, you can check it by adding. So let's do that. But first, the subtraction, 2 minus 7. Again, I cannot do that. I need to regroup. OK? Cross out those. Instead of eight tens, I will have seven tens. I take one of those tens. I borrow it, so to speak. It's also called borrowing. I take one of those tens, and it moves here to the ones. But there are already two ones, so I need to combine them and get 12 ones. And then 12 minus 7, 5. 7 minus 4, 3. And now we're going to check it by adding. And when you add, you need to take this number, 35, and this number, 47. If you want to, you can kind of look at it this way. Just copy the 47 over where it is, move the 35 on top of it, like that. And now we add, not subtract. So 5 plus 7 is 12, where I regroup the 1 thing over here. 1, 3, and 4 makes 8. And now, I still need to check, is this number here the same as over there? 82. Yes, it is. It checks. Everything's correct. 60 minus 14. This one is actually a subtraction that's pretty easy to do mentally, too. But we're practicing regrouping, so let's do it that way. 0 minus 4. I cannot subtract in the ones, so I need to regroup. Take one ten, leaves five tens. And over here, 10 ones. Subtract 10 minus 4 and 5 minus 1. And now we're going to check it by adding. Like I said, you can take this 14 and just copy it over here. Take this 46 and move it over here on top. And then add. 6 plus 4 is 10. So we regroup. Actually, any time that you regroup in subtraction, then when you're checking it, you also regroup in that addition. And then 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. 60 here, 60 here. It checks. 5 minus 4. Notice something? This time we don't need to regroup. 5 minus 4, I can do it. I can subtract. 5 minus 2, 3. But let's still add to check this result. Again, copy the 24 here, 31, write it over here, 
and add. One and four, three and two. And there was no regrouping in the addition either. One last one for today. Five minus six. Do we need to regroup? Sure thing. Cannot take away six if you only have five. Okay, so instead of nine tenths, I will have eight. And over here I will get 15, right? And then subtract 15 minus six. And eight minus six. And lastly, we check that by addition. Can you tell how that goes now? I will add, what will I add? 66, and the answer, 29. Okay, 9 plus 6, 15, and I need to regroup. I need to regroup with the same 15 as I had here, actually. And then 1 plus 2 plus 6 is 9. 95, 95, it checks.